the association with Silco uh, has been uh, now for quite some years. We have worked on various sectors, uh, but uh, now the focus has been uh, on uh, sub centers, uh, hundred across Meghalaya, and here also more than ten sub centers have benefited in East Garo Hills uh, with the collaboration of Silco. The most important thing uh, what I see in these sub centers is that uh, most of them do not have a proper electricity connection. And uh, because of that, they were not doing the institutional deliveries, uh, which we want to make it 100% as soon as possible. So we have 31 uh, sub-centers and uh, I remember in 2019 only, I, I think around 10 were conducting institutional deliveries. A major problem was energy. They were not having a proper connection and if uh, the, it was available uh, in many places, irregular electricity as well and you don't know when the, the the delivery has to be conducted so it is has to be 24 7 power has to be ensured in all the health centers and uh, then came Selco and they installed uh, solar panels uh, and they put lights and fans and uh, in some places baby warmers and uh, these deep freezers uh, are also there all run with solar so that has changed uh, quite a lot and apart from uh, uh, some other steps which we took, so now I am happy that uh, nearly 21 out of 31 sub-centers they are doing institutional deliveries and the institutional delivery of East Carvels over the last 3 years have gone up from 30% to 55%, uh, still a long way to go but it's a, it's a good improvement. And uh, other than that, recently uh, to make it sustainable, uh, we also with the help of Selco and uh, some people, some officials who came and conducted training on how to maintain these uh, assets because in many places uh, these sub-centers are manned uh, by ANMs, they are manned by the, uh, the Chokidar and the uh, uh, sometimes Ashas also come there. So these are the people but they have no, they had no knowledge of how to run it, if there are some minor defects, how to fix it. So recently they have been trained and I hope with that training uh, this whole thing will be much more efficient because wherever we have seen uh, in the first, in the initial year there uh, were some kind of a faults, small small electrical faults uh, or because it, the connection was loose or something like that with the things which can be fixed uh, at the local level itself. So that is why this training was very very uh, uh, required and I am very happy that this has taken place and uh, now all of them are operational and uh, in fact uh, we have told uh, all the ANMs that whenever any issue is that we immediately inform at the district level so that we can take up with uh, the Selco team or the local vendors because Selco and uh, district administration has also trained some solar engineers uh, here in East Carvel so there are 4 or 5 people we have trained and they can repair these minor uh, uh, faults in these uh, machines or cells or anything. So that has uh, that will in the future also will ensure sustainability. And I hope with uh, more interventions in the health and the upgradation of sub centers along with Selco along with health department, uh, we will reach the target of uh, institution 100% institution delivery and also will improve on the other indicators. Thank you.